guys, Mike Chin here in Logan Airport in Boston on my way to Singapore. Just found this, the Chase Sapphire Lounge. Let's go check it out. This is the first Chase Sapphire Lounge in America. I heard really good things. First glance, this place is amazing. There's a whole buffet. I think one section, um, there's not any food on there right now, but the other one is filled with appetizers and desserts. Really good looking desserts too. But the greatest thing is you can order off their menu and they make food for you fresh from the kitchen. And I got one, two, three, four, five items from their menu, pretty much their whole menu. There's shrimp risotto. There's a hot, spicy fried chicken with coleslaw, burger, dun dun noodles, and a meatball sub. This is so crazy. Cheesy shrimp risotto. Mmm. Shrimp is good. The rice tastes more like congee than risotto. It is very cheesy. There's a lot of shrimp in here. With a texture of the rice though, this definitely tastes more like cheesy congee. I'm really excited about this. Dundun noodles. What's interesting about these dundun noodles is that it's made out of shirataki noodles, aka miracle noodles. So these are zero calorie noodles. Some slices of tofu in there, mushroom scallions. Sign me up for these miracle noodles. If you didn't tell me these are zero calorie noodles, wouldn't even cross my mind. It's delicious. Noodles are super springy. These just taste like regular rice noodles. It's very spicy and citrusy. Nothing really done done about this, but this is delicious. This is a buffalo chicken. It's freshly fried. Nice and crispy skin on the outside. Over a coleslaw and some blue cheese dipping sauce. All right, this thing is not entirely as crispy as I thought, but wow. This is a tender, tender drumstick. And also the buffalo sauce, it is spicy. I don't know if I should have ate something this spicy before getting on a flight, but this is amazing. I've never tried. You never tried? Some customers told me it's spicy. Oh, it is. It'll burn you in a good way. <laughs> the meat on this drumstick is just falling off the bone. Left and right. This is delicious. It goes way beyond the spice level of a buffalo chicken. And if you love heat, that's really gonna satisfy you. This is the meatball sandwich. Look at this. Meatball sub. Looks like some butter, garlic, couple of meatballs. Mm. This is an OMG wow type of sandwich. It's so good. Toasty, buttery, garlicky bun. The sauce is delicious. Actually though, after biting into the meatball, I think the meatball might be the weakest part of the sandwich. The meatball doesn't really taste meaty. It tastes like there's way too much cornstarch in here. The rest of the sandwich is delicious. This has a lot of potential. This is a brisket blend patty burger with arugula, tomato confit, mustard aioli. Mm. Yeah, I did not doubt part with this burger. Mm. That is one juicy patty. Bun is nice and buttery, a little crispy pickles. The mustard aioli is creamy, got a little kick to it. Mm, it's awesome. Overall, food is very solid in this lounge. Dundun noodles, delicious. Zero calorie too. Buffalo chicken, tons of heat, delicious. Meatball sandwich, love the sandwich. Not so much the meatball. Burger's delicious all around. Fry's great too. Finish this, we'll check out the buffet. On the buffet, there's a ton of stuff like roasted Brussels sprouts, strawberry burrata salad, lemon mascarpone pudding, some chowder, some chicken croquette, strawberry quinoa burrata cheese. Nice and refreshing. Roasted Brussels sprouts is nice. Mmm, this is so good. Some sort of spicy clam chowder with fries in here. I really like this. They put a lot of clams and I think some minced meat in here as well. Spicy too. This lemon mascarpone is incredible. Oh, this thing is transcendent. Really, really soft, creamy, and lemony. Little bits of crunchy crumble inside. Oh, this is just beyond fantastic. I think um, Chase Sapphire, if this is gonna be something that's competing against the Amex and Terrain Lounge, yeah, there's no competition. Chase Sapphire wins hands down. So happy I was able to try this place. So fly to Singapore via Doha on Qatar Airways. I think I've only flew this airline once before and it was just unbelievable experience, especially at the food part. And again, this is the Q Suites, which is just the best business class experience. I'm sure you're around. Tons of leg room, giant, giant TV, little gift box. Oh, what's in here? A set of different types of cream lip balm and sprays from Dipti Q. It smells nice. All the seat controls here, plug, 
remote control for your screen, lights, a giant, giant seat. And what's great about the Q-Suite, door closes, giving you ultimate privacy. This thing, oh my gosh, so many movies. So many movies. There's like never ending amount of movies. And the best part, if I remember correctly, Qatar doesn't have a set meal time, so you just order wherever you wanna eat, whenever you wanna eat it. Hopefully that's still the case. And my favorite reading material on the plane. For appetizers, there's herb crusted seared tuna. For main course, there's seared chili and sea bass. Herb crusted rack of Australian lamb. Mm. Paneer tikka, there's a cheese plate dessert. For the light options, there's a super green detox salad. There's hot boneless chicken tenderloins. There's also a afternoon tea selection. And there's a classic grilled cheeseburger with Cajun spice sweet potato fries. Yeah, I think that rack of lamb and the cheeseburger, that sounds really, really good. Just placed my order for food. Unfortunately, basically all the popular food items are gone. So I tried to get the lamb. I tried to get the um, Belgian vanilla waffle with caramelized peaches. Those are both gone. So yeah, try to order as soon as you get on board. Otherwise, what you want may not be there. See you guys for dinner. Dinner is here. First dish, smoked salmon with caviar. Salmon is so smoky. That's carnage from the cucumbers and that caviar. The little poppy needs a pure, whiny flavor essence. That was so, so good. Next up, seared salmon. Mm. Oh, that's so good too. Tinder tuna, love the smoky sear. Sesame seeds a great touch as well. That thing was very satisfying and really refreshing too. This is the first time I've ever had flavored olive oil on a flight. Spicy lemon olive oil, what? This is a game changer. Citrusy and spicy, all that can run into that awesome olive oil, amazing. So they were able to find one more lamb chop dish for me, which I really appreciate. I think this is just okay. It is tender, but it's really, really dry. The potato on the side is but really hard as well. Yeah, this definitely was not a great dish. Breakfast time is about an hour and a half to landing. I ordered the afternoon tea, which includes warm scones, um, finger sandwiches, what looks like a cheesecake, and uh, cakes with berries. Warm scone with clotted cream. Scone is toasted warm and crumbly. A lot of cream is delicious. The baked goods on this flight, very nice. Little finger sandwiches. I think this is a cream cheese, curry chicken, and smoked salmon. Wow, that cheesecake, that's the best thing on this plate. Oh, that thing is so creamy. Chocolate cake's not bad, but oh my gosh, that cheesecake. That's so awesome. Also, got a burger with Cajun sweet potato fries. This is a giant, giant beef patty. Not very juicy, but pretty tender. Fry's not that great. Cold, really soggy, very soft. But what is really good is the Cajun seasoning on the fries. I'm gonna put some fries in my burger. Get some of that Cajun seasoning in my burger. Mm. With the Cajun spice, that burger flavor is amazing. You should just serve a Cajun burger. Oh my gosh, there's a game room. There's a game room with pool tables, foosball. Wow, look at this. This is the one they call the garden. And it's a new lounge. It's bigger, it's beautiful. And when you walk in, the shower, meeting rooms, everything's on the left. On the right, there's a dining hall. Well, on the left, there's a dining hall as well. There's two dining halls. And there's the garden. And it overlooks 
that garden. Can you believe this is an airport? And this place has a whole menu you can ward off of besides the buffet. So in the morning, there's fried eggs, eggs benedict, eggs florentine, scrambled omelets, dinner, lunch, there's a tenderloin steak, there's grilled salmon, chicken birani, there's masala, there's pasta. Unfortunately, I only have about 30 minutes here, so get a steak and get out. Just got the steak. They only cook it medium or well done. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Beautiful. Tender, juicy, all that good stuff. The sauce is nice. This is a steakhouse quality steak in this lounge. Potatoes, delicious. Amazing. I only had a chance to order two items. So I got the steak. And they're known for their sushi bar here. So I got a sushi plate as well. Sushi here is excellent. Wow. Especially the salmon with asparagus inside. Amazing. Wow, the dessert section is unbelievable. So I got a pear caramel cake, a strawberry trifle chocolate fudge cake, and matcha mousse. This looks incredible. Mm. Oh, matcha chocolate is so good. A little light, crunchy outer shell. Inside is like a green tea cloud. I wish my transfer was like five hours. The chocolate fudge cake is dense. Mm. That is one decadent cake. Oh, it's so good though. This thing is so rich, it could fly Qatar Airlines anytime it wants. Strawberry trifle. Very light. I've got the name for this thing. It's like a pear caramel truffle cake with pieces of pear stuffed inside. <laughs> this is my favorite one. I mean, you can have a meal just eating their desserts alone. This is a cool little toiletry bag. Socks, natural spray, and Ooh, another pack of this uh, lotions and stuff. Meal time, I got the Arabic Meze. Last time I had this, loved it. Hummus is amazing. The Mutabel, which is an eggplant dip. That might be my favorite. The eggplant is so smoky. Of course, got the spicy lemon olive oil again. So good. I'm sure I got a plate of kofta and lamb chops. The kofta tastes like it just came off a skewer. That's so good. The smoky and juicy. The sauce underneath is creamy. Mmm. Lamb chop kind of tastes like the one I had on the last flight. Tender, but a bit dry. But the kofta makes this whole plate worth it. Finally, dessert is an orange mousse. It's like some pistachio crumble as well. I feel like food on this flight. Much better than the other one. Wow. That's a cozy storm. Just in Singapore for a couple of days. I'm going to a Michelin event. Going to be trying out some of the new Michelin restaurants here in Singapore. It's going to be a couple of fantastic food days. And as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.